Yes. So we'll come to the third topic of valence bond theory, that is BBT theory, that is types of covalent bond. Right. So in, when I speak about types of covalent bond, just see, <coughs> covalent bond basically are bonds, two types. Right. Fine. First would be your sigma bond. Second would be your pi bond. Fine. Okay. Instead of this pi bond, I'm writing the symbol pi bond let us be specific instead of the sigma bond i am writing the symbol sigma now ma'am how is the sigma bond pi bond form let us see now <coughs> i have already said p orbitals are px py pz s orbital is spherical s right fine you also have d and also f now in case of sigma bond observe carefully when you when a sigma bond has to form how is the condition how is this form just observe for a sigma bond to form first important thing the pit or the orbitals have to overlap actually along the internuclear it has to so they should be actual overlapping remember this first ma'am what is this actual overlapping just see now let me pick up anything you can pick up any axis and just see now this is your pz i'm going to pick up pz pz orbital dumbbell shape now i'm going to overlap this x okay s basically first so this is s now this e are you not finding they are overlapping along the axis this is called axial overlapping means along the axis this particular axis they're overlapping and forming a bond called just observe this shape sigma bond right now let me pick up any you can pick up any combinations now i picked up pz and pz i'll make it with pz and pz this is also sigma bond axial overlapping are they not finding you're finding this right axially right so fine so pz and pz also is sigma P, uh, pz ps also is sigma now py and py uh, is it sigma let us see whether it is sigma or not when i write this now Pi bond is a type of bond where they are going to overlap means the overlap here it is along the axis here they have to overlap up above and below. So the overlap is above and below. Yeah, what do I mean by this? Now let me see. I have taken combinations of Px and Px, right? You can also pick, pick up from Px and Px. You can also form between Pz and Pz. Now let's see. Here if I have like this, if I have like this, I have two more lobes here. I have one more lobe here. Now the bond formed above and below the bonds, right? Py, if I pick Py or Pz, okay, Py not a problem because you can pick up the other side. The bond formed above and below the sigma bonds are called pi bonds. Above and below. Here it is actual in nature. Now, when I speak about sigma bond, how are you finding? Where is the electron density concentrated? The electron density is concentrated along the axis. So isn't it stronger than pi bond? Yes, as you see, as you have seen, the whole electron cloud or electron density is concentrated here because it is tightly packed in the center. So electron density, electron density is concentrated along, along the axis. Done. Here, when I observe this particular bond, how, where is the electron density concentrated? It is above and below. Is it stronger like, than sigma bond? No, it isn't. Because it is, there is charge separation. There is separation of cloud above and below. So, electron density is parallelly, parallelly arranged or parallelly concentrated it is concentrated above and it is concentrated below i don't have uh, it is equal but it is above and below fine sigma bonds are stronger than pi bonds right because it is actually stronger than pi bonds right because of Parallel, parallel overlap. Pi bonds are less stronger. 
because we have to break and then only form pi bond no yes you when whenever i say i have to form pi bond i have to break the bond in between and then form pi bridges that is what you have studied so pi bonds are less stronger than sigma bond now let us see <coughs> when i speak about this particular example when i speak about this particular example what are you saying the repulsion will be more in that or repulsion will be more in that or attraction will be more in this or attraction will be more in that this is more no right this is more attractive in nature this is more means compared to this the distance is far here you this is sigma stronger but here the repulsion is more so know these points for sigma and pi bonds <laughs> you can pick up roll up so your vbt theory explains about hydrogen atom your vbt theory explains about type of overlapping it also explains about the differences between sigma bond and pi bond.